Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, I would be explaining you what is angular velocity ratio theorem and how you can use this theorem to solve various velocity and acceleration diagram questions of theory of machines or kinematics of machines. Now, before starting with the video, if you are new to this channel, please subscribe my channel by pressing the subscribe button below. Also, check out my other videos. All the links are given in the description below. If you find this video helpful, please like this video. If you have any doubt or feedback, please mention in the comment section below. Do follow me on Facebook, Twitter and Google+. All the links are given in the description at the end. Now starting with the video, Angular Velocity Ratio Theorem. Now this theorem, it helps us to find the angular velocity of one link if the angular velocity of other link is known. Suppose we generally know the angular velocity of the crank that is AB. AB is the crank. Angular velocity of AB is generally known. So if we have to find the angular velocity of that is output link that is CD that is link 4 if we have to find omega 4 or omega CD output link then we can easily apply the angular velocity ratio theorem and we can find without construction of the velocity and velocity diagram without constructing the velocity diagram we can directly find now how we can find first we have to find the I centers now suppose this is link 1 this is link 2 this is link 3 this is link 4 now the intersection of 1 and 2 link is I12 similarly intersection of 2 and 3 link is I23 of 3 and 4 is I34 of 1 and 4 is I14 now I we have to find I24 and I13 because there are 4 links so the total number of links will be NC2 that is 4C2 or 4 into 4 minus 1 upon 2 that is 6 total i centers will be 6 now we have found 4 i centers just by looking on the pin joints that is of the intersection of the links now the re the remaining two links the remaining two i centers will be the total i centers will be 6 that is i 1 2 i 1 3 i 1 4 i 2 3 i 2 4 i 3 4 now how you have to write just it is a trick first you write i 1 then what are the remaining you write corresponding to that that is 2 3 4 there are 4 links maximum so you have to write till 4 so we get these 3 similarly in the next line we have to write 2 now after 2 remaining number of links that is 3 and 4 if had it had been 5 links then we have to write i25 also i hope you get now last you write i and 3 and after 3 the only link remaining is 4 so you write i34 if there are more links that is 4 or 5 links then you have to write i35 i36 and so on now we get 6 i centers only we don't know the position of I13 and I24 that is I13 and I24 remaining are known so how we have to find I13 and 24 that is you construct you construct a circle then you draw a square four links mean you have to draw a square if there are six links you have to draw a hexagon and so on Alright, now 4 links, you, you uh, name 1, 2, 3, 4, these are the diagonals, these are the diagonals, so you have to find I13, 1, 2, 3, how we can go, we can go 1, 2, 2 and then 2, 2, 3, similarly we can go 1, 2, 4 and 4, 2, 3, so I13 will lie on the intersection of I12, 23, I14, 34. So you have to extend 1, 2 and 2, 3. That is 1, 2, 2, 3. You have to extend and 1, 4 and 3, 4. You have to extend wherever it intersects, it is point I13. 1, 2, 2, 3, 1, 4, 3, 4. 1, 2, 2, 3, 1, 4, 3, 4. You have to extend wherever it intersects, it is I13. Similarly, I24 we have to find I24. So 
2 4 how we can find we can go from 2 to 4 2 to 3 3 to 4 so you write i 2 3 3 4 and 2 to 4 how you can go 2 to 1 1 to 4 2 to 1 1 to 4 the 2 3 3 4 you extend so 2 3 3 4 you extend this is the extended and 2 1 1 4 so 2 2 1 or 1 2 is the same thing 2 1 1 4 you extend wherever it intersects it is the i 2 4 this is i 1 3 so you have found both all the i centers you have found now angular velocity ratio theorem says that suppose you have to find omega 4 and omega 2 is known so you write omega 2 which is known on the left hand side just this is trick i do this way so omega 2 you write you write bracket is equal to omega 4 you put bracket now you have to take you have to write i something i something now this is my trick how i write you don't have to mug up you don't have to learn this you just uh, pick up the trick how you write inside the bracket so omega 2 bracket is equal to omega 4 bracket then you have to write omega 2 now you have to write first i 1 you have to always write i 1 that is the fixed link you have to write i the fixed link number that is here it is 1 then you have to write the same number that is here so you write 2 and that second number you have to write i this is not minus this is the distance denoting you can even write this way it doesn't matter just to clarify i have put hyphen sign it is, it is not minus sign okay so i 1 2 you, you know how to write then you have to write i 2 4 that is 2 and the uh, which we have to find that is the common 2 and 4 we have to find so the common i center will be 2 4 so in the second term you have to write 2 4 in the first term you have to write first the fixed link then the the corresponding number regarding here I am explaining you once again that is you write first you have to write fixed link always in the first term you have to write fixed link that is 1 then you have to write this number so i12 then you put again i then you have to write the common i center that is 2 and 4 so 2 4 similarly here first you have to write i the fixed link that is 1 then the corresponding number this so i14 and again the common i center i24 all right you got same now if we know omega 2 and this is the distance we can measure i12 to 24 from 1 to 2 24 this distance you can measure this distance you put here is equal to omega 4 we have to find omega 4 i1424 1424 so you measure total this distance this you put here everything is known in the equation so you can find easily omega 4 or vice versa if omega 4 is known you have to find omega 2 then again you can apply the similar procedure you put omega 4 value you measure the distance from i14 to i24 you measure you put here i12 to 24 you measure you put here you can find omega 2 and the general statement is put as this omega 2 upon omega 4 is equal to i1424 upon i1224 so this was the angular velocity ratio theorem by which you can easily find the angular velocity of one link if the angular velocity of other link is known i hope you found my video helpful and uh, if you have found this video helpful please like the video if you have any doubt please mention in the comment section below also check out my other links other videos all the links are given in the description at the end and uh, do follow me on facebook twitter and google plus do watch my other videos i regularly post videos daily 
सो प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल इफ यू हैव नॉट ऑलरेडी सब्सक्राइब टिल नेक्स्ट टाइम टेक केयर बाय बाय